Hello, trainers, uh, retired to the video is a uh, wave analysis uh, how to surmount earlier wave analysis uh, technical uh, challenges. All right, so let's get started. Uh, how do you surmount, overcome, or conquer? All right, the earlier wave analysis uh, technical uh, challenges. So you have been using uh, the earlier wave principle, analyzing uh, various charts, trying to figure out the structure of the price to help you to forecast the financial market. But there are challenges that uh, you will come across very often, and the question is, how do you surmount those uh, earlier wave analysis uh, challenges? To give you a, a very simple example, it's like a driving on a road, all right, you're going from point A to point B, all right, and uh, your journey will be smooth if you already know the road. So a driver that had been traveling on the same road over and over will know, okay, the road very well and uh, will have a better smooth journey. But if you are a new person taking that road for the first time, it can be quite challenging. Another thing that I can say to traders, talking about how do we surmount the area wave analysis challenges, all right, though you may be taking the same road all the time, there are still challenges on the way that you need to overcome each time you are taking that role before you reach your final destination. The same is true when we count in area wave. We face different challenges and we are overcoming those challenges. And sometimes, though we have more experience analyzing the chart, we still have to overcome those challenges. In this tutorial, I will share with traders how one can surmount earlier wave analysis technical challenges. All right? So there are things talking about knowing the road from A to B, okay, being familiar with the road. Uh, there are things that usually occur when we are counting earlier wave. One example is the force divergence that usually occur during the first earlier wave. There's one example here, looking at, uh, yes, uh, the RSI, uh, the, looking at the stochastic A33. Right. You can see that here we have what we call a false bearish divergence. This is a phenomenon that usually occurs uh, during okay, uh, the first area wave when you will see a most momentum oscillator that are exhibiting a bearish divergence and usually those divergences okay, do not perform uh, very well. All right. So, talking about being familiar with uh, okay to familiarize oneself with uh, the road from a to b as an earlier wave okay practitioner earlier wave trader counting wave performing earlier wave analysis we are familiar with the phenomenon of false divergences during okay the first earlier wave with that, that can help us to overcome or to surmount, okay, uh, the earlier wave analysis uh, technical uh, challenges. All right. So that's the first earlier wave, and we are familiar with uh, that phenomenon. There was a bearish divergence, and it was a, a false bearish divergence that usually occur during the first wave. All right. Another thing that can help us uh, to uh, surmount, okay, the area wave analysis uh, uh, technical challenges is that during the third area wave, uh, most momentum oscillators, most importantly stochastic A33, will stay overbought for a long time. You can see this session here. So you are counting your wave, sometimes those phenomenon will help you to overcome the challenges 
of uh, area wave analysis, you can see that uh, the, uh, the stochastic A train was overbought. Uh, I'm trying to use a vertical line here. Stay with me, please, traders. Uh, so was overbought in this session. And it stays overbought up to this point. All right, so I'm going to put a vertical line there because it's not easy uh, to tell. You, you will see soon as we are going along, okay, talking about uh, area wave analysis, that it's not easy to count with here. So, but by being familiar uh, with, uh, okay, uh, what usually takes place uh, during the first wave, force divergence, okay, stochastic being overbought for a long time during the third wave, that can also help us, okay, to smooth our journey, so to speak, from the first wave to the fifth wave, so to speak, all right? So stochastic stay overbought, and then finally a drop down here. Usually that drop signal the fourth wave. That's drop here from overboard to oversold is signaling the fourth wave. But we need to be very careful because there's something else that has happened here. You can see here uh, that there was another divergence here. Carefully here, look carefully, look at from the front. There was another divergence here. This is what we call a true divergence. So during the fifth wave, very often, we have a valid divergences. So you can see that the price did bounce up a bit in this session here. So the question is, is this the fifth area wave? So let's leave that one here. So are you getting the message now how we can uh, okay, surmount all right, uh, the area wave analysis? Is first, we want to be famili familiar with uh, okay, the road ahead, the journey that we're about to begin. All right, with more experience, we will be uh, very familiar with uh, okay, uh, those uh, journey okay, counting waves. So, it looks to me looking at uh, okay, uh, the stochastic divergence here, we have usually a, usually have a valid divergence, either stochastic exhibiting a clear cut. Uh, a bearish divergence or the RSI exhibiting a valid divergence. Okay, here it is, and the price did bounce up a bit. So, the question is, is this uh, the, the, the fifth wave? So, looking at the, so, talking about being familiar with the journey ahead, I will put here. Third wave, right here. I'll put here the fourth wave. Sometime, my friend, as this one is quite neat and clean, and you may think that okay, it's all working beautifully, George. That's what I will use next time. I don't have to look at the plow, I'll look at the stochastic instead. But that's not the right way forward. Sometimes it can be a bit messy, all right. So, here it, it, it looks good so far. But we're going to go through the wave validation, and we will see soon that it's not as straightforward as it look. But this is one step that one can take, all right, to surmount, to overcome, to conquer, okay, the area wave, okay, analysis, technical challenges, all right. So. If you look carefully on this chart, so if we try to go into the mind of other traders, this is what we say, a different viewpoint, viewpoint of other traders, our own viewpoint, talking about our own area wave count, so this is my area wave count. Now let's go into the mind of other traders to see whether other traders may look at the same chart in a different way. Will other traders count their wave differently? Yes, other traders may count their way differently again. I'll leave my wave count there. I will not change it. And I'm going to show you that other traders may see things differently. Other traders may say, okay, I agree with your first wave, George. I agree with your second wave. But I disagree with your third wave, George. This is the third wave ending there, George. And this is the fourth wave right there. And this is uh, the fifth way ending here. Now, talking about surmounting, okay, the area wave analysis technical challenges. 
It's also about comparing our wave count with other traders because they're going to make a decision to sell or to buy according to their wave count and they will forecast the market according to their wave count. So in order to sell months, okay, the area wave analysis technical challenges, we need to take into consideration uh, the wave count of other traders. So other traders may say the first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, and the fifth wave. George, all you are calling fifth wave is just all right, a correction that is underway. Or is just a correction that is underway. And those traders, even though if they have a chain, they will say, okay, let's go, let's George, let's go to the yearly chart and compare our wave count to the higher degree wave count. George, as you can see, this is. The first wave of a higher degree, right there. So we're going to change the color of it now. Uh, I'll use pink as I've been doing before. So that's the first wave of a higher degree. And uh, this is the second wave of a higher degree. We change the color into pink, so attention to the pink numbers instead of the red one. And uh, George, your one, two, three, four, five is, uh, okay, the third wave of a higher degree. Are you with me? Don't get confused. We are using two level, the lower degree and the higher degree, the monthly chart wave count and the yearly chart wave count. And the yearly chart wave count is in pink on this chart. So that's the third wave of a higher degree. And yes, uh, George, that red fourth wave is the fourth wave on a monthly chart, you remember? It's not this one here, it's part of this one, so it's ending somewhere here. Am I talking to myself? Let's quickly go to the monthly chart so you don't get confused. That fourth is not all the way here. It's just this one here. But if you look on the yearly chart, it looks like it's always almost here. But it's just here, this one, let's move down. All right, going back again to our yearly chart, using the yearly chart viewpoint for our wave count, we will say to traders that uh, we are now in the fourth wave of a higher degree. Is that correct? That is the question. So anytime you count away, you should question your wave count. Is that correct? Don't just, so you put it aside, you say, okay, this is my wave count. I'm satisfied with my wave count. I may be wrong. Let's go into the mind of other traders. Let's validate our wave count. Let's see what will happen. All right. So on a yearly chart, we have the first wave of a higher degree, the second wave of a higher degree, the third wave of a higher degree subdivided into five manual wave. One, two, uh, three, four, five. As I showed you before on a monthly chart, now we are in the fourth wave of a higher degree, expecting the fifth wave of a higher degree. So now, one thing you need to do very carefully to, to, to surmount okay, the area wave technical challenges, one of the tricks that you will always use also is to see how deep was the fourth area wave. Sometimes it's not very easy to pinpoint the fourth wave on some, on some time frame, all right? All right, then if you apply, okay, the Fibonacci retracement to the fourth wave, you don't want it to be too deep, okay, because usually it's shallow. Now, let's apply the Fibonacci, all right, retracement to the third wave and to see, so if you put it all the way to the top, which will be from the low to the high, our fourth wave is ending if you, if, you, if you consider the tail of this candle, you will see that the fourth wave is any at 50% Fibonacci retracement level. But personally, I would discount the tail here because you see the second candlestick bar did not, this one here, did not start here. It start here. So I will call it instead 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. It's good. If it was beyond, if you, if you call something fourth wave and D below the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the third wave, you need to put a question mark on that fourth wave and monitor it and question your wave count. Doesn't mean that it's wrong, but you just 
try to be more cautious because a fourth wave is not usually a deep wave supposed to be shallow but if we see the fourth wave quite deep going even beyond the 50 percent fibonacci retracement level of the third wave either on a lower degree or a, or a higher degree we need to put a question mark on that fourth wave so using the force that force divergence that usually occur on in the first wave we allow us to surmount area wave analysis technical challenges i'm not saying that all the time you will be good and well and easy but sometimes it will be quite useful for us as you can see for this talk and also stochastic staying overboard especially on the monthly chart is quite neat here it's not very clear you can see that on the yearly chart it's just like this but it's still there you can see that it's still above it it didn't come down yet you see it didn't come down yet but we are talking about the fourth wave already but on the monthly chart it was clear to her how we stay the stochastic eight retreat all right was stuck above the overboard zone riding it before dropping down here so with that that can also help us to surmount or to overcome the area wave analysis technical challenges. The true divergence or valid divergence usually occur during the fifth wave. Now we have a fifth wave of a lower degree on a monthly chart and we have the stochastic divergence. There is also below here you can see that the RSI period 14 was declining at the point when the price did bounce up. Now you need to be a little bit more careful, which means uh, uh, to surmount again or the area wave analysis technical challenges. We are still, okay, it's playing on our mind how other traders may count their way. So they are calling, okay, first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, and a fifth wave. We're calling this one fifth or fifth wave right here. So they, those are traders, okay. We'll be talking about what? Okay, a correction. I'm not talking about higher degree wave count, I'm talking about how other traders become their wave on a monthly chart. So they will be expecting okay, correction because their fifth wave has ended here. What we are calling here fifth wave is part of their collection because they are calling this one instead their fifth wave. So we need to be aware of those traders and for those traders, all right, a correction is underway. And if we go into their mind, very important. We will notice that the price went on one, two, three, four, five. So for those traders, the fifth wave is ending right here, and the first part of the correction is subdivided into five. One, two, three, four, five. So going into the mind of those traders, what is the corrective pattern that will come into their mind? Is the zigzag pattern? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So those uh, traders will be expecting, okay, a bounce up after this one, two, three, four, five to this point. And it will apply uh, the Fibonacci retracement to this move here. And it will highlight the level of 50% Fibonacci retracement right there where we, we here it is. Ah, here it is. Is that correct? From here, 100%. Here it is, 50%, you see? So those are the traders. Uh, they also, for them, this is a, a correction underway in the shape of one, two, three, four, five. And they expect their one, two, three to the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. And going to the mind of those traders, they will expect one, two, three, four, five down, forming the zigzag pattern. So apart from the false divergence, the stochastic staying overboard, the true divergence during the fifth wave, we will go into the mind of other traders to forecast the market, the way those traders may count their way. That will help us to surmount the earlier wave analysis and technical challenges. So those traders right now are playing the game, so to speak, of the zigzag pattern correction on the monthly chart. So now that those traders are expecting a zigzag pattern on the monthly chart, like this, their fifth way ending here, 
let's go together okay with them or together we're going to the weekly to the monthly to the yearly chart to the higher degree we've come because if those traders also did stop only on the monthly chart that would be a mistake yes or no so they must check our own viewpoint compare it to their own viewpoint and also those traders must go to a higher degree time frame to see it from a different viewpoint monthly chart viewpoint and a yearly chart viewpoint okay a lower degree a viewpoint and a higher degree viewpoint yes or no so we come now here we say first wave of a higher degree second wave of a higher degree third wave of a higher degree okay good now we a fourth wave of a higher degree and now those traders are still expecting a zigzag pattern if that is the case my friend if what those traders are expecting as a zigzag pattern we will expect the price to go down a little bit more yes or no if, if that is the case are you following me if that zigzag pattern is completed that will mean that the fourth wave of a higher degree will be quite deep yes or no will be quite deep will almost erase go below the 50 percent fibonacci investment level of that uh, third wave of a higher degree yes or no so we will be putting our a fourth wave higher degree right here after that expected zigzag pattern is completed here but there is something else bothering me a little bit you see here our third area wave of a higher degree got a shadow here and i say to trader to be wary is that a correct pronunciation of a third wave with a shadow on top all right but as we go back to the monthly chart everything looks good yes or no so going into the mind of other traders if they expect a zigzag pattern all the way here in that case it means that probably if that is the case which means it's deep retracement forming the fourth wave i will question that fourth wave which means probably the real fourth wave of a higher degree is probably hidden in this candlestick bar here. Uh, the year 2015. I'm going to go back down to the. Are you seeing the exercise that we are doing here? So we are counting our way. We are facing challenges. We are questioning our own wave count. We are questioning the wave count of other traders. All right. And now we want to see, okay, if everything is aligning beautifully so we are looking at it so you forecast the market but we are looking at it from different angles to examine the possible scenario that can occur so we are ready for all scenario and when that scenario the market is playing that scenario we will be part of it another thing that i need to say to area wave traders in order to surmount the area wave analysis uh, challenges all right one should also go into the mind of other technical traders so in this case we are not talking about other in your way trading we are talking about other technical in your way traders so looking at this chart like this other chart pattern trader will say george your area wave count is just a mambo jumbo we keep it very simple this is a head and shoulder chart pattern here any price has a high chance to break above the neckline. So will we agree that by going to the mind of ordinary technical traders will also help us to surmount okay, the area wave analysis a technical okay, challenge. So for those traders, they will say the correction can bring this price to the target price level using the head and shoulder chart pattern to the level of $39. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it okay i doubt it but we will see so looking at the rsi that went down from the vapor to the vashon now the rsi is turning here all right if this price does not continue to go up that will create a bit of mess and we will be wondering what's going on here and we need to come back again and review the wave count after the price okay has printed what it is about to print personally you do not have to 
upset my view. All right. There should be another okay, move up. The question is, are we going to have a consolidation before that move up? Is it going to be a complex correction in this session before that last move up? Talking about the fifth wave of a higher degree. Or is the fifth wave of a higher degree hidden somewhere here? Right. Looking at the RSI figure 14 for this uh, price structure, normally the price should bounce up, which is, is doing now, but it should go up a little bit more. But it's stuck below the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the move from here to here. Are we going to have a zigzag uh, pattern? All right. So we can keep this discussion going on and on and on, and sometimes you'll come away, and uh, to be honest with you, you may not be satisfied with your wave count, and even you will not be satisfied with the wave count of address. So you can only, if that is the case, which can happen sometimes, when you are not satisfied with your wave count, and you are not satisfied with the wave count of address. In that case, what you need to do is to keep your eyes on the market patterns, the price structures within the market pattern, the rising channel, the declining channel, and the horizontal channel, draw trend lines. You see, so we are talking about fourth way. You remember what we said to traders? So here we are, so you don't know what's going on. I'm getting a bit confused now. George, it's not very clear. We can have a zigzag pattern. Uh, what are we going to do? Tell us more. Tell us more, George. Okay. If that is the case, you need to concentrate on the price action. And how do you do that? We talked about it before. And you know the road. You know the road already. All right? And you can overcome the challenges. All right? You know the map. So after we have identified the fourth way, all right, what do we do? We start connecting lines, drawing trail lines. As many trend lines as we can. Yes or no? So let's start drawing those lines now on our chart. And it will be quite useful for us if we get lost. Yes or no? All right, so you know you want to check the landmark on your journey. So those landmarks will help you to know that, oh, I'm approaching a junction now because of that landmark. Yes or no? So you are prepared. You are reducing your speed. And you are being very careful because you know that the road is a bit tricky ahead, all right? So this is one of the first trend lines that we draw, this one. So here it is, we draw one. Put a bit of color into it. So with that trend line, help you to overcome, okay, the area will count uh, challenges. And you just draw them. You just draw as many trend lines as you can. So, uh, Connecting this low and this one here. Into orange. You see that the price almost touched uh, that the orange trend line here on the edge. Quite close, yes or no? Quite close. I did prefer the horizontal support here. And then uh, we can continue to draw more trend lines because uh, we need to know. We are now coming to the corrective phase and we are asking all kind of questions whether we were on a higher degree or a lower degree, and we start wondering, what should we do now? All right? It happens. It happens, all right? It's normal. Sometimes you will come across, you will face those challenges, and this is how you will surmount those uh, challenges. Talking about area will count the challenges. All right, let's draw a common set like this. It's more useful. Why is it more useful? You can see that the price breaks it below that common central line and retest it here. That's why I prefer to call that the fifth wave on a monthly chart because the third wave was that is one, two, three, four, five, and then few break below that common central line. For me, this is uh, personally this is an earlier wave failure here 
The area where failure will occur when the fifth wave fails to go above the high of the third wave. But still, there is a question mark on this wave count. As you have seen, we are not quite satisfied with our own wave count, and we are not quite satisfied uh, with the wave count of others. So what do we do? We flow with the prize. We now concentrate on the prize. That's the only way we will make excellent decision. If the wave count does not help, or if the wave count is not helping us, we will. It is important that one is uh, okay, relying on the price action more than anything else. So we draw this tail line. We will leave them on our chart. All right. See here, this one right below the turquoise. Try to retest it here. Right below this one, retest it here. So those tail lines are being useful. Now it came quite close to the orange line here, and we can do more. So what I say to trader, anytime you draw a trend line like this, you see all these trend lines, you, the, those, uh, the, the angle between trend line, you can draw also the media line between the two trend lines. Are you a subscriber to two four stock trader? When well, I'm busy building an amazing channel, do you want to be part of the two four stock trader YouTube channel? Sometimes traders think that because they tra some traders trade only forex, they say, I'm a forex trader, I'm a forex trader, I can't subscribe to two four stock trader because it's all about stock market. But we are talking about technical analysis. And those technical analysis, though we are talking about stock, you can apply them for forex trading. So don't miss out. Subscribe to two four stock trader YouTube channel, even if you trade for us. All right. So here it is the media line between the two quarters trend line and the orange one, and that's where we are now. That's where we are now. You see now. So with those trend line, we can navigate through it. So now it's popping down. Is it going to come to the hot spot trading zone? Why is it hot spot trading zone? Because it's the intersection of horizontal key level. And a trend line. Is it going to come here? Or is it going to stop at that support level here? At 214 level. Map it out and follow the price. I understand also one way also to overcome the earlier wave uh, analysis technical challenge is to go into the mind of uh, ordinary technical traders. So we are going to remind of uh, other area wave traders that are using the same area wave theory to count way to recognize area wave pattern. We go into their mind, but we can also go into the mind of other technical traders that are looking at the chart, looking for chart pattern for those traders. They will say, George, all I can see, I don't care about your area wave count. I can see an inverted head and shoulder chart pattern. If the common central line here is kaput, George, I will sell. All right, makes sense. Which means they are riding the price, yes or no? And you do exactly the same thing. In fact, the common certain line here is already kaput. Did you see? Okay, so the common certain line is this one here. Let's color it now into pink. All right. So the common certain is kaput. It retested here. That's why they are selling it down using a top-down trading method on the edge. Of that media line between the turquoise and the pink. All right. So we will uh, we will conclude the video now. So this will conclude uh, our discussion today. It's 33 minutes so far about uh, wave analysis tips, how to surmount earlier wave analysis technical challenges. As you can see, it's not easy. All right, this tutorial. I hope I have managed to communicate what I was trying to communicate to you, to help you uh, to overcome and to surmount okay, the area wave analysis uh, technical uh, challenges. To summarize this video, if one is traveling from point A to point B, the journey will be smooth and easier if one already knows okay, the road. All right? Similarly, when we are counting in your way, there are different challenges that will arise. With more experience, we have discovered some phenomenon that usually occur during okay, the area wave analysis. We usually see okay, false divergences during the first area wave. 
We also see false divergences during the third year wave, but typically during the third year wave, the, 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 the stochastic H3 will stay overboard for a long time, and during the fourth wave, it will drop down before the fifth wave will start. As you can see here, though uh, those observations uh, have helped us to identify the first wave and the third wave. And then, but now, apart from the stochastic and the fourth divergence, we should go also into the mind of other idiot wave traders. We should also go into the mind of other technical traders. We will also use not only one time frame, as we see here on the monthly chart, we will compare the lower degree wave count to the higher degree wave count. By following those steps, all right, or by knowing those steps, or by mastering okay, the road and the landmark on the road, so to speak, all right, we will be able to surmount okay, the area wave uh, analysis uh, technical uh, challenges. If you have any question or suggestion, this is the time to put in the comment section and of course, I will be recording another video uh, to answer your specific uh, question. At this, we conclude our discussion today about wave analysis tips, how to surmount in your wave analysis technical uh, challenges. If you find this video totally, totally useful, let us know by giving us the thumbs up if you think that this is another disgusting blah, blah, blah. Okay, mark it down, and that will put us under pressure to improve our next recording. If you think this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. Is it going to be a zigzag? Or is, it, is there a fifth way coming up? Or is the fifth way already gone on top of this uh, a third area wave? We will see. Okay. Follow the prize and keep your eyes wide open. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon. We are the TSTW, a 24 traders.